it's been three years since we did the first your first person branding interview. Can you maybe share the highlights of your career, of your personal brand over those last three years? Now look, Nick, I must say, um, if I go back, and I think three years ago, but if I go back to 2005, mm -hmm. when I started getting involved in social media and mm -hmm. in things like LinkedIn, I, I, I actually remember I went on LinkedIn for the first time in 2005 already. Mm -hmm. Quiet years and so on, but since three years ago, since we've had our last chat, I actually have been astounded. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to say astounded. Because what I was evolving at that stage and transforming and trying new things and doing something different, trying to disrupt social media per se, and specifically LinkedIn per se, mm -hmm. It has turned out significantly more powerful than what I thought. You would remember I discussed that LinkedIn has got the possibility of being your CV, mm. being your blogging tool, being your website, mm. um, being your online communication platform, mm. and being your social media platform. And being a combination of, if you use it right, Instagram, Twitter, and even Facebook. As long as you use it right, as long as you don't abuse it, and as long as you understand your audience and your network and the connections you are linked to. And what I've seen over the three years, and we still discuss, can this work, can it not work? Mm -hmm. Is it possible? Should you have all the platforms? Should you spend time on all of them? But I decided to focus on LinkedIn as a platform with a bit of a combination of Instagram and Twitter. Um, and the power that I see now of building your connections, firstly. I mean, I'm up to 22,500. Mm. And this is not connections willy really mm. picked. Mm. These are selected connections that initially I had to request to, you know, to be connected to people. Mm. But these days, because of the power of that personal brand that has evolved, mm. I find so many people invite me to connect. And I must admit, um, because of my books I wrote on different um, subject matter, mm. I get people now connecting with me that's not financial people per se only, but people that's interested in cryptocurrencies, mm. as an example. So my network has widened up mm. in, in the type of connections I'm getting requests from to connect to. Mm. But at 22,500, now people say, how can you be connected to so many people and virtually be interactive? Well, if you use your technology right, it's amazing what you can do. And if you use your time right, it's amazing what you can do. So I do interact and I still do nothing automatically. I do it manually. I still believe in it by person and so on. So to answer your question, what I have seen is the power of social media, giving personal branding a disrupted feel, mm. a feel that you become a brand in a very short time considering where it could take us 25 years in the past and a lot of money and cost to be spent on it. But now what I find is the social media drive the brand as long as you have the respect mm. for social media and driving that brand. And therefore, if you stay authentic, mm. if you stay um, consistent, if you are ethical, mm. and if you build a bit of thought leadership with a bit of authority, your power of social media is absolutely completely misunderstood. And I believe now, uh, I'm confident, and maybe in the next five years I'll feel even more confident, mm. that LinkedIn is the platform for professionals, for business people. And if you use your brand correctly with all of the power of your connections and not abusing your connections, there's nothing strong in my opinion for personal branding. Now, of course, I've <clears throat> personally seen how <clears throat> your personal brand has opened up a number of opportunities for you. Can you maybe share with us what opportunities have opened up for your career? Well, um, uh, I must say, Nick, your voice is really battling, my man. I hope I it gets better. Thank you. Nick, um, opportunities is what you want in life. Mm -hmm. So if I was looking for new business, I can't imagine how many opportunities because I get inundated with requests on email, through LinkedIn, through the platforms, through um, online email, 
for requests for come and see me and do business with me. But obviously my practice in the professional um, uh, side of it is doing very well and without being um, arrogant, I, I don't have to look for new clients all the time. Where I see LinkedIn for me, and it doesn't matter if you're a doctor or psychologist or professional or businessman, where, where, where LinkedIn for me is doing is, I have a passion. And my passion is to convert and be part of stakeholders that wants to convert a financial industry into a financial profession. Mm -hmm. And what I have found with that connection and platform I've built up, it gives me a platform to drive awareness to our profession. It gives me a platform to mentor younger advisors. It gives me a platform to talk about personal branding. Mm. It gives me a platform to talk about regulations. Mm. So it gives me that block, if you want to call it that, but I call it the platform, mm. to get the word out there. But as an example, if I take um, the books I wrote, um, mm. Cryptomania, RDR and Passion, the fact that I use social media to launch those books, the fact that I use my network to launch the book on my behalf, because mm. as you've seen, once it's out there, people become ambassadors mm. for my book. Why do they do that? Because they really believe in the value that I add to their social media network at the end of the day. Mm. Therefore, they feel they want to put it out there. You know, they feel they, they've got a responsibility to put it out there. I'm actually amazed to see how people can market your material for you. Mm -hmm. But again, the success of my books has been amazing. You know, the way it's sold out of hand uh, uh, on Amazon.com and those things, it's mm -hmm. something that I did not expect. But I could never have done that without social media and without mm -hmm. a personal brand. Never. So what would you say <clears throat> has changed on LinkedIn over the last three years? LinkedIn, in my opinion, has matured mm. and are maturing. Look, when I started 2005 on LinkedIn, in my personal opinion, it was a recruitment platform. Mm. It was a business recruitment platform, let's mm. face it. What I've seen over the last three years specifically is the maturity of what the platform could be used for. Mm. And that maturity has evolved in business people understanding the virtual reality platform that mm. if you use the system correctly, and look, LinkedIn has also done some amazing things to convert their own platform mm. from a recruitment to a professional business page and mm. platform that you can use to approach people. And yes, you can use it for recruitment, mm. but I think the, the recruitment portion has, has declined mm. significantly because people are now using it for peer-to-peer business, peer-to-peer -peer, um, relationships, mm. and business-to-business -business mm. relationships, and marketing, and sales, mm. and building the brand, as mm. I call it. I think the maturity of people appreciating the public that uses social media, mm. the, the, the consumer that uses social media, appreciates more and more that if you're not on an electronic or on a platform or on online media, mm. you're not going to move forward in mm. any industry or um, mm. profession as such. So the maturity I see has evolved and is currently mm. evolving much faster than we can anticipate where the abuse must stop and the perceptions must stop mm. that it's a recruitment page. It's not. Mm. It's gone from that. It's a, it's a maturity of sales, marketing, advice, thought leadership, empowerment, mm. authority, mm. I can go on and on. And um, what you are mentoring a number of young professionals, what do you tell them, how should they go about using LinkedIn? You know, um, actually mentoring is an interesting thing because I obviously mentor officially some mm. financial advisors that work with me in my team. I mentor advisors outside of my team. I mm -hmm. mentor advisors across the world. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I tell to them, or not the one, the three things mm -hmm. I tell to them, when they come into any business or any profession, because I, only, I must be honest, I don't only mentor financial mm -hmm. professionals. I mentor other people as well at these mm -hmm. stages. I don't know how it's happened because of LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, people ask me. 
And what I find is the three things that's important mm. for newbies, and it's currently coming into mm. any business, but also that's not using the power of social media, mm. is the first thing is you have to build your personal brand. Mm. And you have to brand you before you brand your sub-brands, and that could be the company you're working for or uh, a, an association that you're working mm. for. So it starts with your personal brand. Mm. The second thing I tell them is the way that you brand it will drive your success going forward. Mm. And therefore, you have to be authentic mm. whenever you. And therefore, on social media, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Instagram, if you're on LinkedIn, be authentic and consistent across the board. And that's the second thing I try to focus on. Mm -hmm. And the third thing I focus on when it comes to LinkedIn and social media specifically for newbies is never mm -hmm. assume that if you made a connection that you own that person, mm -hmm. that, you, that they own you something. Mm -hmm. Until you have physically built a virtual relationship mm -hmm. and you maybe have even converted it into a face-to-face -face relationship mm -hmm. and that may be through Skype even as well mm -hmm. or physical meeting with people, you mm -hmm. should not abuse the facility called social media because it will more abuse you mm -hmm. than what you would abuse that. I hope you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And therefore, newbies that I talk to and I mentor online, offline, those are the three major mm -hmm. things I would focus on. And what are the big mistakes that you've seen people make on LinkedIn? Sure, I can talk about that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, it starts with the photo. My gosh, I mean, I cannot believe people put photos on LinkedIn where they're standing next to somebody with their hand around them, cut off the hand, they have sunglasses on, mm -hmm. they don't do, look professional. Uh, it, it, it's shocking to see some of the photos mm -hmm. on there and the profile photos specifically. And that is where LinkedIn starts. It's the first image, it's the mm -hmm. first impression. You better get the photo right. The mm -hmm. second thing is the profile. I mean, the profile starts with 10 titles of careers. It's like people don't know, do they want to be this, this or that? And they have three options or four options just to make them feel they don't miss one of the connections. You know what I'm saying? That people can see what they do. So, and I think LinkedIn should not be any more about job titles. I think LinkedIn should be what's your why, what you're standing for, what you want to achieve. And therefore, your profile title becomes very important to me. And then the summary. My gosh, you get summaries that is just going nowhere. Mm. To me, a summary, that first five lines that you can now see on the profile should say why, how, mm. when, what, all, mm. the, all, the, all the whys, as I call mm. it, all the whys. And if you mm. can get that right, because you've got 30 seconds mm. and maybe one minute, mm. so get the front page right and then get the insight, right, in case somebody really is interested, you want to see your CV, want to understand what society you belong to, what pro bono work you're doing, but focus on those three. Now, that's the, the profile. Mm. But the biggest mistake comes from automation. Answer everything with somebody answering it for you, either appointing somebody or using the apps to answer for you. That is a problem. You can't do that. Maybe you, should, you can do that when you become bigger and you're running a commercial business and so on, mm -hmm. but not while you're building a profile and a personal mm -hmm. brand. So stay away from, from, from trying to um, do those type of things. Mm -hmm. The second thing is you can't connect to a person and immediately send him a message, I want to do business with you. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't exist mm -hmm. because there's over 400 million people on LinkedIn, I think, and, and it's just too big. And it, therefore, when you, and the, the third thing, and people may say, oh, but Quibbish, you're saying this, but you've got 22,000. Mm. I have a different model, that, and that's why I have 24. I need a big platform because mm. it's about the profession, not about sales and so on. Mm. But in my opinion, get to 500 connections, consolidate the 500 connections, and then really, depending on what business you are in, you shouldn't be connected to more than a thousand people or thousand five hundred people because how are you going to communicate with them? How are you going to relate with them? How are you going to interact with them? And how are you going to build a virtual relationship with them? Now, what would you say is a secret to your success on LinkedIn? Maybe the one thing or two? You know, it's difficult to talk about yourself, mm -hmm. but maybe without saying what I think, I can mm -hmm. say what other few people have told me. Mm -hmm. The thing that stands out, I think, the most importantly, is I'm authentic. Mm -hmm. I do it 
for the right why. Mm. I do it for profession, I do it with passion, mm. and I am honest and ethical and authentic about what I do. Maybe secondly, I believe in sharing. Mm. I believe in first giving before I ask, mm. before I take. And thirdly, it's the fourth leadership. I think the fourth leadership, and it may be a publication of 1,800 words, mm. or it may be a 150 word post. Mm. But fourth leadership does differentiate yourself from the rest of the LinkedIn users. Mm. And last but, but not least, Kobus, what is next for <clears throat> the brand Kobus Klein? Um, I would like to see the brand get stronger because I believe you should never be arrogant, never lay back, never become bigger in the game. Mm. I think the brand must stay um, empowered, mm. very much so, by utilizing the tools of LinkedIn. Mm. I would like to finish my book series of five. Mm. Um, that's been an objective that you know, Nick, me and you discussed, and um, if it wasn't for you, my first book would have never been out, and that was my only objective. And now we're talking five books of a series. So, and why? Because I want to write about things I love. Mm -hmm. And my next book, Accelerate Your Brand, mm -hmm. um, Mastering the Brand, mm -hmm. is exactly what we're talking about now. I believe that I want to use a branding book and write a, brand, a branding book with the power of social media and not the old style. Because it's a new style of personal branding. Mm -hmm. And I believe my Accelerate Your Brand book that's coming out next year in 2019, mm -hmm will help a lot of young people, business people, mm -hmm. people that believe in only a company brand, not a personal brand, but even companies can use my social mm -hmm. media book or on, on accelerate your brand is going to come out. So there's a lot to happen still, but I want to evolve the power of LinkedIn much more. Mm -hmm. I really believe this. We're only at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to social media mm -hmm. and specifically LinkedIn. Can you maybe give us a sneak preview of your book? Well, um, it's in process, um, and when I fly around, I write a bit, and I believe you, you, you eat the elephant, piecemeal by piecemeal. Mm -hmm. The sneak preview is, the focus will be, it will, it will be on personal branding, obviously, but it will be personal branding on social media. Mm -hmm. It will be how to use social media, how to use personal branding, how to use networking, mm -hmm. how to use the public domain, how to use Google, mm -hmm. how to put it out there, that people know you long before mm -hmm. you know them. How to put it out there that when you walk into that networking meeting, you are established. Mm -hmm. When you connect on LinkedIn, people want to connect to you because you've got that strong mm -hmm. brand. And that acceleration is how to accelerate instead of waiting 10 years to build a brand. Because this is the key, why I call the book mm -hmm. Accelerate Your Brand. Mm -hmm. How do you go from the old style of 25 years mm -hmm. 15 years, 20 years, 10 years, or even five years to create a brand. Mm -hmm. I believe with the right social media tools, mm -hmm. you can within one year create a good brand. Mm -hmm. Within two years, a solid brand. Mm -hmm. Within three years, a powerful brand. Mm -hmm. Within four years, a significant brand. Mm -hmm. And within five years, a brand that will lead to self-actualization mm -hmm. that you cannot understand. Mm -hmm. And that's where I believe my book will make a big difference. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Kobus. And uh, thank you for sharing your insights and to keep evolving and motivating us, motivating us to keep evolving our own brand. It's my pleasure, absolutely, always, Dr. Nick. <laughs>